Test 6 Hello. This is the Cambridge English Movers Practice Listening Test 6. Part 1. Look at Part 1. Now look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. Look, Mum. All my friends are at the beach today. Yes, it's a nice sunny day. There is Kim. Which one is Kim? The girl with blonde hair. Is she sitting on the blue and white chair? Yes, that's right. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. 1. That girl is happy. Which one? The girl who has blonde hair. That is Sally. She is eating an ice cream. Two. Look at the two boys in the boat. Yes, Tom is sailing the boat. Is Tom the boy who's wearing a purple hat? No, Tom has a red hat and blonde hair. Three. There is Tom's cousin. Where is he? He is the boy who is on the sand. Oh, yes. He is the boy in the green and yellow T-shirt. Yes. His name is Jim. Four. Who is that girl? The one who has long brown hair. No, she has short brown hair. Oh, that's Anna. There is a ball next to her in the sea. Can she swim? Yes, but she doesn't like to get wet. Five. And is that your friend, Mary? The one who is holding the ball? Yes. She is wearing a yellow skirt and a red T-shirt. Oh, yes, that's Mary. We're very good friends. Now listen to part one again. One. That girl is happy. Which one? The girl who has blonde hair. That is Sally. She is eating an ice cream. 2. Look at the two boys in the boat. Yes, Tom is sailing the boat. Is Tom the boy who's wearing a purple hat? No, Tom has a red hat and blonde hair. 3. There is Tom's cousin. Where is he? He is the boy who is on the sand. Oh, yes. He is the boy in the green and yellow T-shirt. Yes. His name is Jim. Four. Who is that girl? The one who has long brown hair. No, she has short brown hair. Oh, that's Anna. There is a ball next to her in the sea. Can she swim? Yes, but she doesn't like to get wet. Five. And is that your friend, Mary? The one who is holding the ball? Yes, 
She is wearing a yellow skirt and a red T-shirt. Oh yes, that's Mary. We're very good friends. That is the end of part one. Part two. Listen and look. There is one example. Oh, good. No lessons today. We are going to the cinema now with our teacher. Which teacher? Miss Day. She's our favourite teacher. That's nice for you. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. One. Is the cinema called Picture House? Yes, that's right. I know where it is. Yes, it's next to the school. Two. What film is on? It's a funny film. Three friends go to a town near the sea. I know what it's called. It's called A Nice Holiday. Yes, that's it. Three. When is the film? It is on in the afternoon. Good. Then you can have lunch before the film. What about going to the restaurant opposite the bus station? Okay, that's a good idea. Four. What is for dinner? We can have chicken for dinner. Good. It's my favourite food. Okay, you can have a lot then. Five. Dad, can I go to bed at ten o'clock? No, you have school tomorrow. Please. I said no. I don't want you to be tired for your lessons tomorrow. But I want to watch my favourite football team on TV. Oh, okay then. But don't tell me you are tired tomorrow. Now listen to part two again. One. Is the cinema called Picture House? Yes, that's right. I know where it is. Yes, it's next to the school. Two. What film is on? It's a funny film. Three friends go to a town near the sea. I know what it's called. It's called a nice holiday. Yes, that's it. Three. When is the film? It is on in the afternoon. Good. Then you can have lunch before the film. What about going to the restaurant opposite the bus station? Okay, that's a good idea. Four. What is for dinner? We can have chicken for dinner. Good. It's my favourite food. Okay, you can have a lot then. Five. Dad, can I go to bed at ten o'clock? No, you have school tomorrow. Please. I said no. I don't want you to be tired for your lessons tomorrow. But I want to watch my favourite football team on TV. Oh, okay then. But don't tell me you are tired tomorrow. That is the end of part two. Part three. Listen and look. There is one example. Alex is telling his dad about his visit to a shopping centre. What did each person buy? 
Did you enjoy the visit to the shopping centre, Alex? Oh yes, it was really good. Everyone bought something. Your cousins and your uncle and aunt. Yes, my aunt bought something first. She bought some blue jeans because she likes working in the garden. She has many plants, and her favourite is her orange tree. Can you see the letter H? Now you listen and write a letter in each box. And what did your uncle buy? I know he doesn't like shopping. No, you're right. But he loves books, so he went into a shop that has books. He looked at many books. Then he went to the top floor of the shop where they have toys. He bought a toy robot. Really? Isn't he too old to have a toy robot? No, it's a present for my cousin because it's his birthday next week. What did your cousin buy? He wanted to buy some books for school, but he went into a pet shop and bought a green lizard. I don't think his parents were very happy. They told him not to buy another pet. Did your sister buy lots of clothes? She loves clothes, I know, but she loves books too. She has many books, and she bought a bookcase to put them in. That was a good idea. And what did your mother buy? She wanted to buy everything. She saw a purple guitar, and she wanted it. Can she play the guitar? No, my aunt laughed and told her to buy something that she really needed. And did she do that? Yes, she bought a blue sweater in a clothes shop. Oh, I didn't ask you what you bought, Alex. I bought some books because I love reading. But you have so many books. I know. I think I need another bookcase. Now listen to part three again. And what did your uncle buy? I know he doesn't like shopping. No, you're right. But he loves books, so he went into a shop that has books. He looked at many books. Then he went to the top floor of the shop where they have toys. He bought a toy robot. Really? Isn't he too old to have a toy robot? No, it's a present for my cousin because it's his birthday next week. What did your cousin buy? He wanted to buy some books for school. But he went into a pet shop and bought a green lizard. I don't think his parents were very happy. They told him not to buy another pet. Did your sister buy lots of clothes? She loves clothes, I know, but she loves books too. She has many books, and she bought a bookcase to put them in. That was a good idea. And what did your mother buy? She wanted to buy everything. She saw a purple guitar and she wanted it. Can she play the guitar? No, my aunt laughed and told her to buy something that she really needed. And did she do that? Yes, she bought a blue sweater in a clothes shop. Oh, I didn't ask you what you bought, Alex. I bought some books because I love reading. But you have so many books. I know. I think I need another bookcase. That is the end of part three. Part four. Look at the pictures. Listen and look. There is one example. Where does Nick want to go? Nick, let's go to the cinema this weekend. Oh, I wanted to play with my friends. Okay. Well, if it's sunny, you can all go and play in the park. Oh no! If it's sunny, we want to go to the beach. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. One. What 
is Tom's problem? Oh no, I dropped my glasses on the floor. Can you see now? Yes, but not well. Oh, that's bad. Two. What sport does Anna like best? Do you like football? I think it's boring. What sports do you do? Well, I go riding and swimming. Which do you like best? I like both, but I like riding more than swimming. Three. What is Jim looking for? What's the matter, Jim? I'm trying to find something. Oh, your football. No, my toy car. I thought I put it in this box. Yes, you're right. Here it is. Four. What does Mary want to buy? This red towel is nice, but I want to buy this bag here. The handbag. That is for grown-ups. No, I meant the beach bag next to it. Well, let's wait for the summer before we buy one. Oh, okay. Five. What pet does Grace have? Grace, I don't want your pet inside the house. Okay. Don't you like my pet? No, not really. I don't understand why you didn't choose a rabbit or something nice. But I like spiders. Oh, okay. Well, I'm happy it's a spider and not a snake. Now listen to part four again. One. What is Tom's problem? Oh no! I dropped my glasses on the floor. Can you see now? Yes, but not well. Oh, that's bad. Two. What sport does Anna like best? Do you like football? I think it's boring. What sports do you do? Well, I go riding and swimming. Which do you like best? I like both, but I like riding more than swimming. Three. What is Jim looking for? What's the matter, Jim? I'm trying to find something. Oh, your football. No, my toy car. I thought I put it in this box. Yes, you're right. Here it is. Four. What does Mary want to buy? This red towel is nice, but I want to buy this bag here. The handbag. That is for grown-ups. No, I meant the beach bag next to it. Well. Let's wait for the summer before we buy one. Oh, okay. Five. What pet does Grace have? Grace, I don't want your pet inside the house. Okay. Don't you like my pet? No, not really. I don't understand why you didn't choose a rabbit or something nice. But I like spiders. Oh, okay. Well, I'm happy it's a spider and not a snake. That is the end of part four. Part five. Look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. Can you colour this picture of a town centre? Yes, I can see that it is raining. Yes. Do you see the man with a bike? Yes. Colour the bike blue. Can you see the blue bicycle? This is an example. 
Now you listen and color and write. One. Now I would like you to color one of the dogs. There are two dogs in the picture. Which one? The one next to the ball. I want you to color it brown. Okay, I can do that now. Two. Do you see the man who is wearing a hat? Yes, he is looking at the man on the bike. No, I mean the man who is looking at the dogs. Oh yes, can I colour his hat red? That's a nice colour, but I want you to make it yellow. Oh, okay. Three. Now, I want you to write something. Where? Do you see the shop in the picture? Oh yes. I want you to write supermarket above the shop's door. Okay, I'm doing that now. Four. What can I do now? I don't see any cars. No, but can you see the big bus? Yes. Can I write bus on it? No. I would like you to colour the bus green. Yes, that's a good idea. Five. Look, I think those two children aren't friends. You mean the small girl, who is with the boy? Yes, he's pushing her. I know. You can colour her hat red. Okay. Now listen to part five again. One. Now I would like you to color one of the dogs. There are two dogs in the picture. Which one? The one next to the ball. I want you to color it brown. Okay, I can do that now. Two. Do you see the man who is wearing a hat? Yes, he is looking at the man on the bike. No, I mean the man who is looking at the dogs. Oh yes, can I color his hat red? That's a nice color, but I want you to make it yellow. Oh, okay. Three. Now, I want you to write something. Where? Do you see the shop in the picture? Oh yes. I want you to write supermarket above the shop's door. Okay, I'm doing that now. Four. What can I do now? I don't see any cars. No, but can you see the big bus? Yes. Can I write bus on it? No. I would like you to color the bus green. Yes, that's a good idea. Five. Look, I think those two children aren't friends. You mean the small girl? Who is with the boy? Yes, he's pushing her. I know. You can color her hat red. Okay.
That is the end of the Movers Practice Listening Test 6.